Okay, so I just finished this book, Dark Magic by Christine Feeham, and sad to say this was not one of my favorite books. Actually, it's kind of even worse. It, I don't know. It's like worse and better than Dark Gold was because, oh my gosh, Grigori, uh, uh, Grigori's has always been like this weird kind of guy. He's been very... Shut up, Pikachu. A very solitary type of guy. And very, very old world and very, you know, it's my way or the highway type of deal. And I have the same feelings for him as I do with Aiden because he's very domineering. He literally won't let his life mate do anything. And, you know, Savannah, Savannah is his life mate. He kind of made her his life mate, but... Well, we, I don't, heh. they're not, oh, how can I, how do I say this? How am I, how am I trying to say this? And just summing up what basically in this book is like, I think, and even Savannah says this, is that they probably already were life mates, but Grigori in book two just made it, you know, just basically insured it with his tampering. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But seriously. Oh my god. I, mm, I don't like him, but he... He seems a lot better in the book I read, which was, it was either Dark Curse or Dark Slayer. I'm feeling Dark Slayer is where I read it, and they had like this council, and I think Raven is pregnant again, and Savannah is pregnant in that one. I think, oh my god, that hurts. Oh my god, my mouth. I just split in my nose. But I know Savannah is pregnant and somebody is pregnant with twins I can't remember if it's Savannah or Raven or whatever but he seems a lot better he's not like being mean and overbearing and over domineering with Savannah in that book but reading in this one oh my god I want to slap him hard across the face and be like you got a bunch of centuries to, 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 to catch up, man, okay? Men are not like that anymore, okay? Like, it's, it's, very, it's very sweet that you want to protect me and keep me safe and all that. And I appreciate it that you want to make me happy. But you're not making me very happy when you tell me not to do something and you're like... You're gonna do it, or I'm gonna force you to do it. Or I'm just gonna force you to do it anyway. You're just, like, with that type of personality, you're just taking away everything. Like, not just freedom, but like, like the freedom to trust your mate. <laughs> just, oh my God. But, you know, uh, and like he's and like you know the progression of the book he does you know progress a little a little bit but it's like you know only a fifth of him has like progressed the tiniest bit and you know I I can understand him but like oh my gosh you know Savannah I love I really love Savannah's personality and the way she is she's a great person but what she want like what she's trying to do and not just like what she wants to do but what she wants to do for Grigori like her life mate like to protect him to help him to you know do stuff for him he's like she she allows him to be this horrible like, <laughs> like he is a horrible, overbearing, over-domineering 
life mate that doesn't let her do kind of anything. But as I said, you know, like, he's slowly progressing and apparently he says, like, when she gets that smile on her face, my heart melts and I kinda have to do whatever she wants. So there is a little progression and pretty sure from like book four to like book 20? That is a lot of years and sometimes she jumps a bunch. Like for example from book two when Savannah is still in Raven's womb to book three where Savannah is maybe like 20. She's 23 in this book. So Christine does do like some time gaps between books. For like definitely for example, book one, Raven and Mikhail just meet and in book two she's 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 pregnant and I think it's been like seven years. Well, it's seven years from when uh, Jacques was kidnapped and, like, you know, when he's found, it's been seven years. So, now I've lost my train of thought, but, okay. I know the root of it is that, yes, Grigori, you know, he will progress to probably a better man, but right now, seeing how him and Savannah get really get together and how they are together and how they fall in love. I think it's crap. Though their sex is like fantastic. They have sex so much more than their parents and like the other like those the previous three books and oh my god it's warm I need to turn my fan on hold on a sec cuz like holy foop I have a light on me and it is bright and all five stuff. So yes. <sighs> they have a lot of sex, which is good. I like when you have good script of sex in a romance novel. But as a couple, they suck. Yeah. You know, Julian and Alexandra, like, they kinda sucked, but they started getting better at like the beginning of the third, like the last third of the book, this, it's like the end of the third, the third, fourth, or like the last fourth of the beginning of the last fourth of the book, they started getting like, all right, we're, we're, we're getting in a good, we're st the beginnings of a good groove where it's like the very beginning where it's still like, you have, like, the rare good moments and a bunch of more, like, bad moments where Gregory is just, like, go to sleep, and she goes to sleep, and she just, like, forces his will on her, and, like, I get this way sometimes where I'm upset, and for whatever sort of man he's done, and he thinks he just sort of blows us off, or, it's like, he starts doing sexual stuff to get me not, be not bad, to, for me, blah, 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 blah. Or like doing sexual stuff for me to be not mad at him or like makes this this is just Manny makes this like weird joke to get me to not be mad at him and it, eh, sometimes it works but other times it's just like seriously I want to bitch slap your face because that's just not fixing the problem it's also not making me happy and I get that same like Savannah gets that same feeling from Gregory and it's like why do you just let him do that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And this story, it's... It's a little... I didn't get it, but after sitting here and like talking about this, the story, the story is okay. Like, okay. What I mean is, there's, there's two, like, two separate parts to these books, sort of. One part is, one, part one is the, how the couple, like, begin and how they progress and all that such. Like, there was no, like, falling in love and, like, the progress, a good feeling of progression of how, like, they, you know, they started out, like, they, they met, basically they've met up again. 
when she's like 23 and he rescues her from after her magic show that she does to you know where it's like I have fallen in love with you and I like they're, they're mates so they're already kind of like in love with each other but it's like how do I say this like the the Gogor and Savannah just don't fall in love properly to my, um, what's the word? To my degree of how you're supposed to be falling in love and like the progression of how you fall in love. It's just like kind of literally something happened and it's like, tweet, like a, no, a light flicking switch, like it go on, off. And basically, you know, Savannah, at the beginning, they're just like, like, I, I can understand how she feels. They're very claustrophobic, very like, I can't breathe, you're oppressing me, you won't leave me alone, you won't let me process this stuff. And it's like, no, I'm gonna be right here 24-7, 7 seven days a week, I'm gonna be right here, I'm gonna be attached to your hip, and, you know, you're just gonna have to live with it. And it's like, no, <laughs> let me breathe. Like, every, like, it's it, like in real life. Whenever you have a relationship, and like, I, I, me and my boyfriend very much love each other, and we're very happy together. But we need our alone time. We need time, and not just like he goes off to work, and that's our alone time. Our alone time is, uh, like. He's playing his games, and like maybe uh, I I do something in a different room, and like you know our kind of alone alone times where that basically does not happen in this entire book, and it's just a little frustrating. Like, ah! so that's just you know that just goes throughout, and it's very it's understandable. You can understand that storyline or plot line. The other one is because she's the daughter of the prince and all that, people are kind of after Savannah to be like, they're going to take the throne out and kill, like, they're going to take Savannah, make one of their life made, make one of their own vampire, they're basically going to kill Mikhail and be like, I'm the ruler of all the Carpathians and all the vampires and, you know, all oh, blah blah blah, and I rule the world, basically. That's sort of that sort of undertone and then they've got more of this like secret society stuff that you know is in there and it's like like the vampires that are after Savannah are attached to this society that you know and it's like va the, the vampire human oh my gosh the society thing is just like a whole other ball thing because like there's these humans you know made it but then this vampire kind of weaseled his way in, slithered, I don't know how, but he sneaked his way in and now he's like basically the master and like the head of everything and just trying to kill all the Carpathians because, you know, Carpathians are the good guys and trying to get rid of all the vampires because they're just bad and they want to do all the bad stuff in the world. And I'm talking a lot because I have feelings about this book. And this, this, this like, Storyline B that happens throughout the book is a little frustrating. Like not really frustrating, but it's a little confused. It was a little confusing for me of the whole thing that happens, and it's like mm, it's a little confusing because like they're getting information about the society, and then they go and kill this big bad vampire, yet there's still the society, like by the end of the book, like, obviously they kill a really big bad vampire, that's more than likely going to be in all the books, they kill a really big bad vampire at the end of the book, and then, yet, there's still this question of society that's confusing me, it can, the society thing, it, the way that that sort of, it was like a wiggly line, whereas the Savannah Gregory was just a bit, it was an obvious straight line. The other one was like, it waved. And it's like, it, yeah. But, I had a, 
I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the basic storyline, like that wavy line. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that progression. And I don't know if it's going to end because when we get to like Dark Curse and Dark Slayer, there's a whole like big head, like big head honcho vampire that is like terrorizing them. And I think they figured out he's the problem. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not exactly spoiling stuff for previous in like future books but because I can't even remember but I think yeah so I don't know where how we get from the society to like this big very very powerful vampire he's got like superpowers okay he he's a super villain all right super villain vampire that's where he is but right here it's like I don't get where we get from the society to like the Superman vampire. I hope it gets cleared up and like where they are in the future to where they are right now. What like where I am at reading in the books. I hope it's a little cleared up. But as I as I'm saying, I liked it a lot. I like that progression of the story and seeing like how it progresses from like they're after Savannah to like. They're basically just after the Carpathians in general and trying to wipe them out, which is what I basically got. I liked that. I very much liked that. And I'm not saying it right, so hopefully I'm not spoiling the entire book. But I wasn't huge on the whole Savannah Grigori like love story because basically Grigori was always in love with. He's always been in love with her. Like he's been half and he's like insane in love with her which is not a good thing but I think with actually being with her and like what I mean is like he's interacting with her he's been more in her mind and he's calmed down a little bit with his intensity of like I'm fucking in love with you but they it's about in the beginning as I said she's very very claustrophobic and I was very upset because I would be very upset if I wasn't able to breathe and like be able to go where I want to because like the situation at the beginning of the book and I'm like I I'm just gonna be stuck in this house and I won't be able to leave <laughs> situation which is not good for any relationship at all yeah but uh, somehow, somewhere after the first time they basically have sex and uh, maybe like a day, a day and a half after that, it's like a flick on switch of like, oh, I'm, I'm in love with you and I completely understand and I'm okay with this and I, I, I can fix, I, like, we can work, we can compromise, but it's like, the beginning it's like, there's no compromise and there's no like, she keeps telling him that we need to compromise. We need to come to an understanding. We need to come to the same level because like you're all the way over here. I'm all the way like no, like you're all the way up here and I'm like some like I don't know up here and it's like he won't like she, that's her talking. That's her saying like I want to come to some sort of compromise agreement but he's like nah not happening sort of like, oh, you're cute, but that's not happening, baby. You're gonna listen to me, cause I'm the male, and I need to keep you safe. And though you are not a breeding factory, I must keep you safe, and you need to stay away from danger, and away from everyone else. I can't believe I talked about this book for 20 minutes. A little insane <laughs> but to get right down to it I I like I enjoyed maybe like maybe like what do I say it was like a 55 to like 45 percentage it wasn't like split down the middle it was like somewhere like something was just a little more Yeah, but I would recommend this book. Just be part of 
you know, the series, but you also get a sense of how Grigori and Savannah, you know, like, started. Like, this is how they're starting. They're, they're not, they're not complete. They're not complete yet. They're not, you know, like, to the point where they are in Dark Slayer, and they're, you know, they've had, like, a few years. It's, it's years. <laughs> and they've gotten to, probably to a point where it's like, we're now done some compromising, we're on the same page now. Gagori is probably like, you need to stay at home, and Savannah's like, N no, I'm coming with you, I'm going to help. I, I may stay here, but I will help you. So. So, basically, this is not, not one of my favorites in the series, but I, it, it's still okay, and I would recommend it, as I said. And I don't understand how anyone is in love with Gagori, unless they're really, really in love with those overbearing, overdomineering, you're gonna do it, or, like, very turned on by those type of men. I like sort of like a dominant man, but not to the point where it's like my freedom and I can't basically do anything and I'm trapped in my own home and you know I don't I I would never want to get to that point, but that's yeah. You know, teach their own. That's not for me, but it might be for someone else. And I just I would like to see in the progression of these books that Gregory and Savannah relationship get better, and they're not just like a sexual based relationship. Yeah. So, with that done, I get to go on to this book, The Lion and Glory by Shannon Drake. This, but this is actually just her pseudonym for this series, I don't know why. Her real name is Heather Graham, but yes. And also, this is the last book in a five-book series of the Graham clan. And thank God, because this book has been really... This series has been really annoying right from the get-go, as you know from my previous reviews. And... Look what... This is an interlibrary loan, and look what this library did. They ruined the precious preview picture. Because you get a taste of it right here, and then, you know, you want to see all the niceness and what she, they're wearing, and... But no. It's ruined. It's ruined. me. So, I'm going to read it back now. The tides of war have turned for the valiant Scots, led by King Robert the Bruce. I've never understood why he's called The Bruce, and that's his last name. And they boldly reclaim land still ruled by the English. When Jamie Graham comes to seize Hampstead Heath, he has no need for a hostage. Not even one as beautiful and spirited as Christina. The manners... Chateline? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. After her attempts to drug and trick him fail, she insist, insists that he take her away as his hostage. Certain this confounding woman is trying to play him for a fool, Jamie goes along with her folly, determined to claim the sweet temptation she offers. But Christina has but one goal in mind, to free her brother from the fortress of the new English king who has accused her family of treason. Her growing love for her unwilling captor is both unexpected and thrilling. Yet it must not deter Christina from her mission, to master the art of jousting, win a tournament in disguise, and secure her brother's release. Though cour courageous and driven, she cannot foresee the twist of fate that will threaten all she holds dear, her life, her lands, and the man who has captured her heart. Hmm, so... If she's, Eng if she's English, why would the new king, which is the old king's son, or maybe it's numerous years and it's not the king's son anymore, it's a different one, would kidnap her brother. And why would they, in the, he, he accused their family tree? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. They got to this page. The way it all began. These people, Christina said, they will starve come winter. Alas, you should have thought of that. 
Her fingers suddenly curled around his wrist with a surprise with a surprising and desperate strength. You can't leave me here. What? You can't leave me here. My lady Robert my lady Robert Bruce is one of the most humane men I have ever seen. He will not say the populace, nor do we seize prisoners and bring them back to Scotland. Not unless they're incredibly valuable, which you were not. You're you've really nothing to fear. She shook her head. No, you must take me with you. As what? he inquired, near, eyes narrowing. This was definitely a strange form of treachery. As anything, she said. You know what you're saying? Truly puzzled, he stared at her. You can't leave me here, she insisted. Why? he demanded. She moistened her lips, seeking an answer that wouldn't come. He lowered his head and leaned closer, his mouth nearly against her own. Why? he demanded again. He was not to have his answer. Alright, that just, that, that doesn't make me want to read it, but I'm going to read it because it's the last book in the series. And, alright. Let's see. What? What do you think? Contemporary, oh, that's contemporary novel. Alright, what's this? Um, oh, an next historical novel, and then we have this whole con- wait, 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 Phenology of all that happened and up to the present, which is a little annoying because it repeats everything from the beginning. Author's notes. I don't want author's notes. I want the freaking end. I want the last. Chapter, give me the last chapter. 23 chapters. Well, yes. Actually, 24 because there's a prologue in here. <sighs> so, I've had this for two days. This is the third day, and I'm like, I finally finished my dark magic book, and I'm finally getting to start this one. It's finally an interlibrary loan. No. Oh, finally. So, I hope you liked my review. It was very long. And I just I kind of bashed on it because I just didn't like the way he was to his woman and just the way she let him be that way. And like, eventually she came to understand, like, okay, I know he didn't, wouldn't want Savannah with him on the battlefield because she's not really badly trained. She literally is only 23, whereas he is like, like almost a thousand years old. Like he's considered one of the ancients. And, you know, he's so ve very in love with her. And if she was on the battlefield, he would be distracted from destroying a vampire. And he would only be trying to protect her. You know, his he is duty-bound to kill a vampire. And yes, I look like a teapot. But, yeah. I'm just very frustrated. I'm not, I wasn't frustrated... In, when I saw them later, but this book where they first started out, very frustrated. I just hope it gets better. And it should get better. So if you did like this review, please hit that like button down there. And you can leave comments down below if you've read Dark Magic and how you feel about it. If you're like me and, you know, you were kind of disappointed with how they, they, they were. Or if you like them, please explain why you enjoyed it. Or like, maybe explain to me how... Savannah was like very against trying to, to you know, very against being his life mate and him being so like very over domineering. And I don't know, maybe explain to me how they work because I don't think they really work, but you know, they're starting to maybe compromise. And just don't be negative, don't be nasty but in the comments because we do not need that in the world, okay? We don't. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, please hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture for more book reviews, hauls, let's plays, unboxing, unbagging, because something's coming, a bubble wrap, vanilla envelope, or a plastic bag wrap thingy, vlogmas, random blogs, and random random videos. I have no idea where to go, guys. Alright, I gotta go because I've still got, like, how much more? I've got 24 minutes left to edit of this haul slash unboxing video that I've got to edit. And I've got laundry to do now, so, and I've got to put you up there, so I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.